I would like to do kind of one of my favorite things, which is a meet the freshman segment here uh, and learn about you. Uh, viewers of this program know a lot about you already. Uh, but let's just go to what you want to achieve for your congressional district and where you see the opportunity to do that legislation. Back to work um, in the South Bronx, the unemployment rate is 25 percent, which is comparable to the joblessness of the Great Depression. We've seen a catastrophic loss of income. And so I want to see uh, an infrastructure package that puts my constituents back to work. We need to expand the child tax credit, which would cut child poverty by 40 percent in the span of, of one year. And we need to reinvest in public housing. Uh, the worst slumlord in the country is the federal government, which has savagely starved public housing of the funding it desperately needs. Uh, you, when, when we talked before, uh, one of the issues for you was the lack of uh, understanding of public housing in government. It is government run housing. And yet it has there are no lobbyists for public housing in Washington. There's no one there to represent uh, the interests. And here you are now, someone who grew up in public housing. How is that going to how, how do you think that will change the way you'll be able to uh, help your colleagues understand the needs of the forgotten city as it is in New York. Look, I'm going to fight from a place of lived experience. I would not be in the United States Congress were not for public housing, which gave me something that all of us need, a safe, decent, affordable home. Right? There are children who have been poisoned by lead in public housing because of the federal government. There are senior citizens who are freezing in their homes with their boilers breaking down because of the federal government. Uh, we have what I call an FDR moment, and we should make the most of that FDR moment. We should harness the power of this moment to rewrite the social contract uh, with public housing residents and give them the safe, decent, affordable housing that they deserve, which is long overdue. What has it been like for you in the Bronx these days now that it's Congressman Torres instead of Councillor Torres? Um, let's just say my mother has never been more excited about watching C-SPAN. Uh, when, we came, when I came from the orientation, she said, this is the first time I've had dinner with a congressman. But, uh, she, she's my greatest cheerleader, and uh, I'm the product of, of a wise Latina uh, who has who suffered and sacrificed uh, so that I could embark on a journey that took me from public housing in the Bronx to uh, the House of Representatives in Washington, D.C. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.